She was getting fixated on Lydia over here. Only for two seconds. Oh, this is cute. It has a piece of texture on it, too. Okay, so this is where Gabby and I used to live. It's kind of a mess right now, but we're actually on our way to our new home. We're gonna explain why in a sec here, but um, I'm excited. And it's really not that far when you think about it, you know? But we should be there any second now. What's this place? Okay, I guess we're gonna just park here. I don't know whose place this is. But... Whoa! <laughs> bumpy ride, bumpy ride. All right, let's park here. Here's our home. So our new home is right here. It was originally parked like down there where we were driving, and we parked it here because it's more in the shade. This isn't our trailer; it's gone in Stacy's, and we're staying here in the meantime. But this is it now. Yeah. So we were like, there's a lot of stuff in this area, but we had to clear it all out. We got this grill and then yesterday I put all this firewood over there. But I mean, this was all trees and everything. And then the people we're staying with, they paid money to put this gravel right here. Thank you. So shout out to Bill and Kim. You guys are a blessing because obviously Gabby being pregnant, it was super hot in the RV when it was parked in the sun. But now, super hot. now we get all these trees. And yeah, so, yeah. And then it's cool because we have like a little parking spot here and then we also have one right in that area as well and you can just park sideways and so there's a lot of space here gabby and i bought these tiki torches yesterday at walmart how much were those gabby 3.98 yeah so not really bad cheap. and then we got these lights too yeah. so y'all this is where we've been filming it looks a lot different now courtesy to stacy for reorganizing it because you see all these boxes and there's more in the cupboards. They were kind of stacked all up in here and we couldn't walk around. We literally would not be able to walk here. Yeah, like we couldn't go in this area at all. We were just like sitting here. There was just kind of stuff everywhere. I mean, it was clean, but disorganized. This is our baby stuff. Like those are all diapers. Yeah, all these boxes. We need more diapers though. We, we do. Give us we really do. <laughs> yeah, so in this video, we're just going to vlog. We don't really know what we all have today because our schedule is kind of a mess right now. Like each day is so different, but we've just been working on a lot of practical things as well. And we'll share more of that with you in this video. But I know as far as now, Gabby mentioned that we have to go to Target today because- it's Target. Did I say it like that? That's what I said. Oh, it's Target. That's what they used to do in videos years ago. Oh, well, we're going to Target because we have to get a gift for a baby shower that's coming up. Mm. And it's actually for some friends of ours, so shout out to you guys if you're watching. We're gonna get them a gift. We might go to a farmer's market, I don't, I'm not sure. That's a whole nother topic, because Laura's highlighting a lot of things about food lately. What you doing, Gabby? I'm washing this table. Why are you washing the table? Because your mama's gonna paint it. Yeah. This is our little outdoor table, and we got the grill like I said, and so. I need a hair top. <laughs> yeah, it is windy out here. Guys, you, it's actually crazy how big this area is. It's like, you got all this, you got this. That down there is literally where we used to be, where all that junk is. Boop. But now we're in the shade. It's a blessing. Praise the Lord. We're right by our wonderful neighbors. I'm just kidding. This isn't anybody's house. Somebody just owns the property. But fun fact from what I know is I think they're actually like preppers which is crazy. We're next to some preppers. Because supposedly there's a lot of stuff on this land. And so they just dig a lot and stuff. So you'll hear them in their little cranes and stuff. And yeah, so they're our neighbors. So if end times, we know end times is coming. Things are gonna be tough. So we got some neighbors. We gotta make friends with them. Look at that table now, y'all. Good job, wifey. Thank you, thank you. So mom, you're ready to paint. You're ready to paint. <laughs> And now Gabby and I are, what are we doing? Are we going to Target first? What are Target, we doing? Target, Target. All right, we're gonna be leaving soon, but Gabby's preparing her pregnancy snacks for the car ride. What you making? So I'm gonna make, I mean, I always love cucumbers. So I think I'm just gonna make a little salad. So I have these cucumbers. I have all my organic lettuce. I have these carrots that we've had for days. So I need to eat them. <laughs> I don't even like carrots unless they're cooked but we've had them for days, so. 
I'm gonna bring an apple. Maybe I'll open up avocado. Ooh, okay. She's ha she has a lot of ideas basically, but it's all good. So we'll be leaving here any moment now. And then we got more stuff to share with you related to actually the vehicle, which is crazy. Yeah. And so that was a process, let me tell you. All right, so before we hit the road, Gabby wants to show you something in the background. We're gonna have to blur this out though. So what you're looking at is our North Carolina license plate. We figured out all of our car situation stuff. It was kind of a hassle and a mess. But the Lord gave us so much grace and favor, and we were just consistently praying all day yesterday and the day before. And yeah, so now we have that all situated. Yeah, so we're trying to just share some of our practical things that we've been getting done, but we still want to make this vlog, you know, somewhat enjoyable. So we're just filming our usual day, you know, what we're doing today. I don't want to purposely try to make it fun for y'all, but just keeping it real. What? It's just funny how you phrase things. I know. But yeah, so there's a lot of updates we can share with you. And so we'll do that throughout this video. Time to go to Target. Target. Okay, what happens is we get to Target and the first thing that Gabby says is maybe they'll have maternity pants here. This is one of those things, you know, where you go somewhere for something specific, but then your wife hey, wants stuff too. It's not selfish, y'all. I don't have any shorts. No, I know, I know. Me. I feel so sick right now. We're gonna get you some stuff. We'll maybe get something to eat too. We'll it's see. So sick. We're out and about anyway, so we might as well enjoy it. Are we getting him a toy or are we getting him clothes? I don't know, but y'all, this is so cute, isn't it? <laughs> and it's 25% off. Yeah, there's a lot of cute stuff in here. She was getting fixated on Lydia over here. Only for two seconds. Oh, <laughs> this is cute. It has a piece of texture on it, too. All right, I think we're gonna get this and we're gonna see what Gabby thinks of these. What do you think of these? Those are really cute. How old do you have to be to play with these? Though? I don't know, but they're like 20 something. I don't know, because the baby can't play with them for a couple months. But they're really cute. So we're looking on our friend's list and we're trying <laughs> to get them exactly what they want, obviously. Yes. Because. My gift was good enough. It's good, just not yet. Yeah, just not yet. But it's all good, so we're just looking at the stuff. Eventually, we'll have to look at the stuff a lot more for yeah. us, too. This is what we have. This brand's really good. I might get some fun. All right, we're officially done. 30 minutes later. Probably been a little bit longer. All right, so right now, me and the wife are eating some lunch together. She got Panda Express. Y'all wanna see? Oh, I got some Chick-fil-A. Now, I know in the beginning of this video somewhere we said how the Lord's changing our eating habits, so don't let this fool you. We've made so many changes. Like, normally I would get like a soda, but I don't drink soda anymore. I quit drinking a while back. Are you back. drinking lemonade? Right now I'm just drinking lemonade, which is rare. I usually drink water or I get these drinks like bubbly, if you ever heard of it, and it's just like, water with fizz basically and then we changed a lot of like we don't eat bread anymore we only eat homemade bread like because all we'll the try we're trying to anyways yeah all the bread in the store stores is like bad for you and stuff so little things like that which aren't very little when you think about it it's like we started we started off with water by adding because there's a lot of water out there that has things in it that are not good for your body and so we started buying distilled water. We'd love to get a distiller ourselves, but because we can't do that yet, we thought, okay, what's something we can do? Buy distilled water and then add back the minerals that are taken out of it. So we add trace minerals to it. So we started that months ago. And now we're in the process of trying to only eat homemade bread from people we know. I would love to do it myself, but I can't really make it in the RV. <laughs> Um, but I know the Lord's gonna allow me to do all those things. Yeah, that's a Sorry, whole nother, I have hiccups now. That's a whole nother testimony. Like, we would totally be doing more and stuff, but because we're in the RV right now. So, the big question is, are we still living in faith? That's what a lot of people have been asking us because we're rooting now. But it's like, we're still living in faith because we don't have a place yet. We don't know where we're gonna be. We're hoping it's some sort of, like, community living. Like, our desire is, like, the book of Acts where... We live with other believers, but um which we're doing, praise the Lord in the meantime. Yeah, I mean we're we're with people right now, but I'm talking like 
literally like community because we're a part of a community but the community's like they have to drive to meet up with one another and stuff but we're talking like community like no you live with other disciples so back to our indiana season okay so we decided to come back and uh we put the gift in here the mystery bag for our friends they can't see it yet because while you are watching this video is friday the baby shower sunday and so that's when they'll see it but yeah we were gonna go to some farmers market but it was way out of the way so we decided we're just gonna head back i'm not sure what else we're doing right now but we're gonna continue this vlog okay so something that we're behind on because we've just been so busy the past few days is our bible study which we have this marriage bible study thing that we do and usually we do it daily but we've just been slacking so we miss a few days so we're gonna we're gonna do every single day we've missed plus today to get that done and then later we want to watch this we usually don't watch like movies unless it's a review but we're gonna watch a movie here at home and it's about this right here i'm not gonna say it because i don't want the algorithm to you know get us in trouble but we're we already know they're terrible and that you shouldn't you know do these things get them done yeah. but we want to learn more about it and it's a documentary that's pretty much banned everywhere and so we're gonna watch it sin is not ended by multiplying words but the prudent hold their tongues proverbs ten nineteen. speak the truth in love with gentleness and respect only say what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. Ephesians 4.29 Proverbs 10 The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is the grief of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord will not allow the righteous soul to famish, but he casts away the desire of the wicked. Okay, so me and the wife just read Proverbs 10. What's your favorite verse in there that we read? Um, there were two of them. I would say one of them was verse 5. He who gathers in summer is a wise son. He who sleeps in harvest is a son who causes shame. Like, we have to be diligent with our time. Yeah. And redeem it. And then I also really liked I'm gonna guess this one, else. 13. Wisdom is found on the lips of him who has understanding. But a rod is for the back of him who is devoid of understanding. What do you think that means? I mean, there's a lot of references to obviously the Lord's correction. And like Psalms 23 talks about like the rod and him. You know, there's like, there's actually a couple times he talks about him not spraying the rod and how his rod also comforts us. And so it's just interesting. So um it's hard because in proverbs he's telling us to have wisdom and understanding otherwise you know we're devoid of understanding that's very bad and that leads to wickedness and violence and hatred and all these things but it just seems like in this portion like because of his mercy he uses the rod on the back of people that aren't understanding that aren't being you know diligent and a lot of times we think oh God's mean and mm, yeah. but no, that's God's love for you. Okay, so I thought after the Bible study, we were gonna watch a movie, but we ended up having dinner and then I actually have to help load some stuff onto a trailer. So we're going to cut to the movie later and just continue this vlog. Cause we really don't do vlogs on this channel, but I'm just trying to film like everything that happens. And like I said before, our life is so crazy right now that we don't have a consistent schedule. So. Yeah, this is actually the trailer right here that we have to load stuff onto. One of the jobs that I've been doing while I've been in Cal or California, North Carolina. Was that for a FedEx? No, North Carolina is um, hauling. We haul like trash and stuff like that. And so it's been a good way of making some side money. But obviously this is the goal. I, I would love to, I would love for video to become like full time at some point. I've had the dream for years, so I'm gonna keep praying into that. And uh, yeah, I appreciate your guys' support. Okay, so I went back to get my tripod because you know, if I'm gonna work, I obviously wanna put work into my other thing, you know, which is YouTube. So I'm gonna try to get some footage of, you know, just random work. All right, we got Scott over here. What's up, Scott? What is it? 
Is that actually a tarantula or no? You don't have tarantulas around here, do you? I don't know. Hmm. It's a big one. Oh yeah, it's furry. furry. Yeah, it's furry. Okay, so we just finished loading the truck. <laughs> So we just finished, I'm headed back to my wife, Gabby, but I'm super excited. I want to show you guys this. You're going to think, oh, wow, how's this exciting? But it's exciting for me, okay? Look at, our lights are starting to work, y'all. They're not as bright because I didn't get enough sunlight today, but tomorrow, it's going to be good. Okay, so now we're going to watch the movie, finally. I'm not going to say the name of the movie just because I want to be careful. You know how YouTube is, but I'm going to throw it up on the screen really fast. There you go. And that's what we're watching, and we'll give you a little review at the end of the movie. This is just, we usually don't do this. Like, Gabby and I usually don't watch movies, like I said, besides the review videos that we do. But we figured this is actually something that's important, because what we're watching, it, it's something that people should be aware of, and they should realize, like, it's not really good, yet everybody does it, so. In the pre-licensing phase, in other words, what safety studies have been done, and Lynn Thompson finds out that Colleen Boyle has brought in a lawyer to help her decide what materials are too sensitive to provide the Department of Justice. All right, so we pretty much got through the movie. Honestly, we can't really give much of a review because it's, again, you know, you can't see it on YouTube. But just to kind of sum it up, it deals with, you know, what I'm about to throw up on the screen. And it also deals with autism. And then you put two and two together, blank causes, you know. And a lot of people don't believe that, which is because, you know, people simply just don't do research. And they put their trust into, you know, these people in the world, doctors, you know, the medical field. And, yeah, I'm, you know, I used to go all the time. And there were scenarios where they helped me. But those scenarios pretty much were like, oh, I cut open my finger and they sewed it back together. But when it comes to actual medicine and stuff, I don't people real, I don't think people realize what they put in it, and so stuff like that, and um, it just really opened our eyes more, and especially you know having a child on the way, like we watch this stuff to be informed, and you know we're obviously not going to go down that rabbit hole, and share all this information on YouTube because you know you got to be wise. I know that was a long review. <laughs> Anything you want to say about it though? I would say it is hard because it's like I had known about this, but to see how common it actually was, you know, because with research, it's flawed. You know, you can only get so much because you can't really trust anything anyone puts out there. But then when you just hear people's stories and it's the same story over and what? over and over and over again, it shows you there's something to it. Yeah. And so it's just grieving to me because I'm like, man, like people are still putting more trust in, in medicine and man than God. Yeah. And we shouldn't have to rely on that. The fact that we had to watch I this on, like, we had to literally find this movie just to watch it. Because they don't want people to see this type of information. And you might think, well, they don't want people to see it because it's, you know, false information. And now they call it fact checking. But it's like, no, like, this is the stuff that they really don't want you to see. And it just goes beyond that. Like, and what the Lord's showing us about even food and all that like what is put in our food is so bad for us and 
You know, that's just another way the enemy works. God created natural things. What does Satan do? He perverts it and he, yeah, he wants to depopulate and kill God's creation. So that's going to be the video. Uh, I know it was kind of a vlog that was all over the place, but that's how it is right now. Like, we don't have this specific schedule. So Gabby's probably going to go to sleep soon. I got to edit this video and get it out to you guys because literally the next day, yeah, I got to work. So I got to get this out and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.